Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a total collective haul filled with different brands, but most of it is all office appropriate. They're all things that I wanted to add to my workwear wardrobe for a new year. And the first piece I'm going to show you is no groundbreaker, but I feel like I have seen so many photos of celebrities and bloggers wearing one of these and I really have never gotten into the style that much and I'm currently loving it. So that is da, 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 a black turtleneck. I know, so boring, right? But it looks so incredibly sleek regardless of how you style it. So I think really this isn't style specific. It just is a nice black canvas. I really like the look of it with a nice long necklace, pearls of course, in my world. And I just tend to style it really, really simply. Maybe a simple blazer over it, a nice um, leather skirt, or just a nice pair of trousers. I really like the look with some gray trousers, a kind of like monochrome type of look. This one is from Vince. I did really want to get a nice one. I love Vince Cashmere. It's probably my all-time favorite. And I just really love how it fits because it's neither tight nor loose. It's somewhere in between. I've seen them all over the place in terms of how tight they are this year. It tends to be a little bit on the looser side unless it's going to be a true layering piece. So I like to wear it usually by itself and so I really like having a nice warm cashmere blend and I think it's a style must have for the year because for whatever reason they're very very popular this year. Next I actually discovered something that I hadn't previously realized existed which is completely new clothes resold on the real real. So these are clothes from people's closets that they clearly just haven't worn because they still had the tags on when I got them but they were highly highly discounted because they're from previous seasons and they were um, you know, being sold by individuals, and it's a really nice resale website. Everything on there is pretty high end. So this is from Rebecca Taylor. It's a cashmere blend sweater, and I feel like this style of sweater is also really, really on trend for the new year. It's not exactly short sleeve. There's a little cap going on here, and then it's got a back that is a little bit longer than the front, and the cable knit, of course, is always huge in my books, but again, this year particularly prevalent fashion wise and I really loved the color of this one I don't know why somebody wanted to get rid of it but um, it's like a powder powder pink it actually looks just like a cream and a lot of lighting but um, it's a pale pale pink interspersed with a heathering of pale gray and I think it gives it a really nice chunky texture without being too thick and then next up I think this one is from Neiman Marcus I picked it up on sale from Carmen by Carmen Mark Valvo I really really love this dress it's houndstooth it's a little bit 60s kind of but it's not short it's actually well past the knee um, but not midi either and it's got little triangles along the waist which really defines nicely this with a skinny belt is money it would be so so cute again I love how interesting this is and kind of um, comfortable and nice for work but not too chunky at all so it's got a nice small house tooth print with black trim and it's definitely a little bit more on the fit and flare side this is the kind of thing I reach for to wear like every day pretty much so it was a total no-brainer and a really great price and everything from this haul I will either link down below or find you an alternative I'm not doing a try on because I do feel like for a lot of these pieces they are sold out because it was very much like the January slash Boxing Day sales that I picked up most of this so a lot of it is sold out but I will try and find you guys alternatives because each one is something that I've kind of decided to thoughtfully add to my wardrobe for like good reason because it's something that I felt like I needed so maybe some of you guys are in the same boat. Next up, I want to highly recommend a cashmere line. I know a lot of you guys often ask me because I'm such a cashmere addict. I wear it pretty much nine months out of the year every every day to work and then oftentimes during the weekends as well. So it's just my favorite. It's my thing. I guess it's just part of my personal style. So um, Vince is definitely a favorite of mine. Very pricey though. Um, somewhere else that I find makes amazing cashmere that tends to go on sale and isn't too highly priced in the first place is Neiman Marcus so I feel like Neiman Marcus is kind of a little bit intimidating like it's definitely a more high-end place to shop online but 
this particular line of cashmere I think is perfectly priced for the quality that you get and it's so soft very very soft just as soft as Vince and I got this sweater in the sale which has a kind of funnel neck and it's sleeveless and it's kind of a unique I would call this sienna you know it's too brown to be mustard I, I'm not a mustard fan but it's it's kind of like pumpkin it's the exact color of pumpkin um, puree when you open the can so not the color of an actual pumpkin but that more like kind of pumpkin pie look um, love this it's definitely very like fall looking but I'm still gonna rock it for the next few months because it definitely does not feel like spring to me yet so I wanted a few fun things to get me through the winter style wise. I will be doing a ton of content on spring style but we're not there yet. Um, and then I did get the matching cardigan because I actually thought this would be just a really nice basic worn separately or worn with it as more of a twin set. So it's just kind of a nice loose fitting style cardigan and I just really had a thing for this color. It just feels like a warm hug and yeah it was on really nice discount. And then the next thing that I got, which is actually still tags on, is a pair of trousers from Halogen. Now, I feel like all of us that work in an office environment can always use a pair of new good black trousers, and they're usually so expensive and do not even get me started on how most of them are dry clean only because they are something that needs to be cleaned often, so I just don't understand it or ones that wrinkle a lot so if you need a good pair of black trousers get these ones from halogen and thank me later but do not get them too tight so i can fit in the extra small for these pants but if i get them in that size they're more like leggings so i get the small and it looks like perfection i do tend to wear longer shirts for sure but they are just perfectly tailored and i love that they don't have like a thick buckle at the front but instead zip up in the back and you cannot see that closure at all it's completely invisible um, so they're so incredibly incredibly well made and they're $89 in Canada so I don't know what the US price is but in Canada already they're really cheap for the quality that you get they're machine washable and they are Ponte um, stretch fabric so they have a lot of stretch to them but they never lose their shape and I can say all these things because I've had a pair before and they're my favorite trousers and they've kind of taken over they're the ones that I reach for the most for sure you know, when I don't need to look like I'm wearing a full suit, they're a little bit more on the casual side, but they're perfection and they're so comfy as well. One of my bigger splurges, although it was on sale, it was still kind of pricey because it's partly leather, is this really nice blazer from Ellie Tahiri. So because the sun has suddenly decided to come out, it's looking a lot more sparkly than it normally is. Under office lighting, it's actually very subtle shimmer, but at least you can see the shimmer. So it's like this, it's kind of like a copper against black leather, just a copper sparkle, very, very soft. So it doesn't feel very structured and constructed when I wear it it just feels like a nice knit um, because it's knit in the back and knit on the sleeves then with leather panels and it has a bit more of that motorcycle kind of styling to it in terms of the zipper but it's still very very polished and put together looking so it's definitely one of my workwear new favorites and then something that I had tried on in Nordstrom before vlog no during vlogmas I feel like I tried this on in Nordstrom I can't remember if I showed you guys or not but I fell in love with this picture pajama style um, silk shirt and when I say pajama style I really am just kind of giving a slight nod to that trend because it's not very pajama looking at all it just has a shawl collar and little tiny fabric covered buttons so it's slightly inspired by that style but it's beautifully fitted it just has a nice flow it has cuffed sleeves which definitely are a bit more on the formal side and you know there's nothing very slouchy or slubby about it it's a really beautiful silk fabric with a nice classic pattern on it and I love it it's so so soft and pretty and it has a nice subtle shine sometimes silk fabrics tend to be too shiny um, for my taste but these two because I'm about to show you another silk shirt are the perfect amount in my opinion and neither of them wrinkle too much as well because I've worn both of these already this one in glass bottle green is from Millie and I just love this it's got that classic bow detail so it doesn't look like much 
um, on the hanger, but you guys will see it as well as most of the other pieces I've shown today styled in a five days of fashion. I feel like when I am going to do a five days of fashion shortly after a haul, um, it's better to do that so you can see everything styled rather than just tried on. And again, it's got fabric covered buttons, which are very classic and pretty. It's nicely fitted around the bust. It's got really nice gathering at the wrist. And then it's got this long um, front tie that you can just do into a bow and, or into a more casual kind of knot depending on the look that you're going for. But check out that color. It's like Kelly green. It's so gorgeous. I did want to show you two pairs of shoes that I nabbed on sale. So that's what differentiates these from the other items that I'm going to mention in my luxury video. These were both deeply discounted. The first pair of shoes is from Prada and they are ridiculous. I don't normally buy shoes that are this crazy with a really big platform and a super, super high heel. These make me at 5'4", like super tall. Uh, but they're actually super, super comfortable. So I just love them um, and I just loved the really sparkly buckle on them. They feel like jewels on your feet. And they're actually surprisingly comfy and easy to walk in as long as you're used to heels. Um, otherwise, maybe these are a bit over the top for some for sure, but I fell in love with them. And then on the slightly more classic side, I got an amazing deal on these Jimmy Choo peep toe heels that are somewhat of a unique color but I would call this very easy to wear and classic because it's actually like it's a light taupe or a dark dusky rose I think it definitely pulls more towards taupe and I just love these how pretty are they with a little ankle tie very comfy I love Jimmy Choo I find their designs really quite high quality I'm very happy with all the other Jimmy Choo heels that I've ever bought definitely love them more than Louboutins the comfort difference is substantial and I thought these were a really pretty color. They were originally almost $700 and they were discounted to $200. So that was an amazing discount and they are from Nordstrom. So that is it for this haul. I'm so excited to wear all of these different things in a video for you and show you how I like to style them. I'm definitely trying to kind of mix up my style a little bit for the new year, not just wear the same old outfits over and over. And I think all of these items are great ways to do that that are still very easy to wear. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next installment on style. Bye.